thank you so much for being with us. Why was that funny? Was I a wee bit excited? I've not been with you for a while. So I've got all this excitement ready to talk to you. So how are pitchy? Come on, Wendy. I can always rely on you for some true feedback. <laughs> I am so excited to be with you all tonight and I just said that I'm so looking forward to you KNC. It's not far away. I'm actually just going to pin my video for the, um, for the recording. Um, UKNC is not far away so we've actually got 17 days and it's so incredible to get together, it's so incredible for us all to be together in the same room, in the same stadium and we'll be dancing and having so much fun but for those of you who aren't coming you may be hearing some exciting news about that in the next couple of days, how you can be there in some way shape or form, who knows? No, you didn't hear anything here. However, we are so excited to have all of us together, but something that I keep hearing and something that honestly has been creeping into my mind as well. And just know that usually when people are teaching, it's lessons that they're learning for themselves. It's lessons that they've just been through. It's lessons that they're learning. It's kind of personal development that they're just going through. So I think sometimes we can listen to trainings like this and we can think, oh, because they, they're probably not like that. They probably, you know, have totally learned that lesson and they've, they've got it all together. It's really not always the case at all. And I kept, you know, recently I've been thinking, I just can't wait till UKNC because UKNC will be so good to all get together and we'll all feel so differently after UKNC and we just we, we need UKNC to all just you know feel that feeling and be with our community and all that kind of thing and it really got me thinking about how different that that frame of mind is to focusing on the daily wins and I heard a quote recently that says the man who loves walking will go further than the man who's just running for the goal now, this really, this really hit me because I love to run, but I do like running for a goal. And I recently, the this podcaster then went on to say, you know, someone who's training for a marathon, they'll train for the marathon, they'll train for the marathon, they'll train for the marathon, they'll do the marathon, and then they probably won't run for ages. And I was like, oh, that's me. Just ran a half marathon. And honestly, I've ran about three, three times since. That was during the summer. And the man who loves walking will go far further because he'll just keep walking and keep walking and keep walking and over time the walker will get much further than the marathon runner even though the marathon runner has been much much better at stints but it's the lack of consistency that's been there so have you ever had a thing that you wanted to do and you just you just waited for it you just waited for the goal to happen you know the goal time to keep up like the marathon date or waiting for someone to tell you that you should do something or just waiting for the perfect time because you're waiting on a feeling you know just it just you're just not in the zone you're just not feeling it you're waiting to feel good and you just want to get excited about it before you do it and usually when you do these things you think why didn't I do this years ago why didn't I start this years ago? And you hear people say that all the time. Oh, Wendy, I wish I'd done it years ago. Audrey, I wish I'd done it years ago. Do you ever get that? You know, you just, you hear that a lot. And I feel like that's what we're doing with UKNC. When we get to UKNC, we're going to think, I wish I'd done it weeks ago. I wish in the middle of August, I thought this is how I'm going to feel in 17 days from now and started doing the stuff before then. So it got me thinking about falling in love with the process. So I'm going to explain to you something called the dopamine reward system. So most people think that dopamine is just a feel good chemical in your brain. It just makes you feel happy. That's more serotonin, which as we know, is mostly made in your gut. It's the feel good hormone that's made in your gut and your brain. And it's triggered by things like, you know, gratitude and ha happy things. But dopamine is an externally focused chemical of motivation. So when you're in a low dopamine state, you're not driven, you're feeling low, you're feeling in a funk, you're feeling rubbish. When you're in a high dopamine state, you're feeling so, so good. You're kicking tires and lighting fires. You're, you're on the move. You're going somewhere. You feel like you're achieving something and your brain craves more of that. So this chemical is released only when you're feeling good about something. And you can basically tell your brain when you want dopamine to be released. So what does this have to do with Arbon? The common things that people do really successful over time, what would you say they are? Hit me with some of them in the chat. Things that people are really successful, what do they do? 
maybe you would say they're determined, maybe you'd say they're motivated. I've just seen that Wendy signed up for a 10K in six weeks. Amazing, Wendy. Dopamine will be right out there for your daily runs. Consistent, consistent. They set goals, they prepare. You like to work even when they don't feel like it. Guys, you're ruining my punchline. You were supposed to say they hustle hard, they go for it, they're disciplined, they're mo they're always motivated. But really, the key thing is they're consistent. And you know, you have obviously read this book before. They're consistent over time, even when they don't feel like it. And when you think of really successful people, I know Lauren spoke about Kobe Bryant last week. Was that last week? No, the week before last. And um, she spoke about how he gets up and goes into the gym at four o'clock every morning. He does that. He did that even when he won a championship or whatever the night before, because it was never about the goal, because it was about the process. It was about doing the daily things. And I can think over my time in Arbonne, I've been, I've been around the block a bit. I've been here for a while. I can think of so many people in Arbonne who we all noticed when they came on the scene, who's that person over there? Oh my, I remember when Claire Fishington started, she got to regional vice president in 12 weeks, which was the record. There are no guarantees, go to earnings.arbonne.com. That is absolutely not typical, but it was possible because she did it. And we spoke about it all the time. We were like, oh my gosh, Claire Fishington, so amazing, so amazing. There was this guy called Carl, I can't say that in a Scottish accent, Carl, Carol. He, we used to call him the Welsh Dragon. Carl, the Welsh Dragon, came on the scene and he went mad for 10 weeks or something. But then poof, he was gone. He, he was gone on to the next. Do you think Beyonce cares when someone, some new kid on the block releases a single and gets to number one? She doesn't because she's Beyonce, because she's been consistent for so many years. Do you think Kobe cares when a new guy comes on the scene? He doesn't because the skill that they have that, has helped them be successful all these years later is the ability to be a master of the craft because of the consistency, because they've fallen in love with the process. And so often in Arbonne, I feel like we're guilty for knowing this, but then not setting ourselves up for success with it. So we get excited, we set big goals, things like get to region, this is my region day, or get to nation, this is my nation day, get to area manager, this is my area manager day, woohoo, I'm going to do it. And then you go mad and you set yourself a mental task of contacting like 100 people and doing 10 events and it's all going to be amazing and you're going to do it. And in that moment, in that yes mindset, you don't think about the small daily goals because you're, you know, you're, you're too overwhelmed and excited for that. But then when you don't achieve it because you've gone too mental with the activity in the first place, you feel rubbish, you feel less than, you feel like you don't want to set another goal, you're reluctant to set another goal because, well, what's the point? Because you're never going to do it anyway because you don't, because you just don't achieve goals and you start telling yourself that story. Does that sound familiar? Does anyone ever do that? Has anyone ever felt that? We all have. And I think we, we focus so much on goals and probably not enough on what do you need to get there? Though. What do you need to do daily in order to get there? And we're failing to activate one of the most valuable systems in our brain, which is the dopamine release system. So do you remember in ET when they put Reese's pieces out in front of ET? They basically set up a dopamine reward system. The, the carrot in front of the donkey, that is the dopamine reward system. Do you know research shows that having a small piece of chocolate after a workout makes you more likely to go back and work out the next day? I mean, it's probably not going to work for weight loss very well, but it does make you more likely to go back and do a workout the next day because you're setting up a dopamine reward system. You're getting your brain to release dopamine after you accomplish a task. So let's think about how we can, how we can figure that out in our business. So tasks like make one new friend on social media or show up on your stories or send an invitation to the next event or show up to the event yourself. How can you pat yourself on the back for doing all these little things that really add up over time? I want to challenge you to start thinking about the really small actions that will make you move and make a huge difference to you because I recently, um, I recently watched a gut health interview and it was so interesting because this man is renowned for transforming patients' health. And he was talking about habits and habit stacking and layering habits upon habits. And he spoke about this one woman who was so unhealthy, her diet was really pretty rotten. The only liquid she consumed was fizzy drinks. 
and the interview was like so where do you start with that you know you obviously have to cut out all of the things and you know take it right back and the guy said no we just we added one glass of water a day add one glass of water a day without taking anything away at first they just added one glass of water a day and then when she was drinking one glass of water a day they built it up and they made it two and then they made it three and then she stopped wanting as much as many fizzy drinks because she was drinking more water and then they built habit upon habit upon habit because she, she was rewarded for doing that one glass of water a day so what I want us to think about in our own business is celebrating every piece of activity yes have our big goals but let's celebrate every piece of activity so what does that look like for you how do you think you could set up a dopamine reward system in your business that would make you feel good so maybe when you do one reach out a day you share it in your WhatsApp group and your team WhatsApp group and you wait for the crowd to go wild because they do an Arbonne and they tell you how well you've done and how amazing it is. Maybe that's the thing that really gets you excited. Maybe have a think about what makes you tick. Is it is it words from people? Is it, yes, well done, someone saying that? If it is, then tell your upline and they'll be there to cheer you on whenever that happens. Maybe it's a square of chocolate. I mean, I'm not depends if you're on the 30 days, <laughs> but maybe it's a square of chocolate or maybe it's, you get to watch TV once you've done 20 minutes of your arbor and stuff at night, or maybe you get to scroll on Pinterest once you've sent out those samples. It's something that triggers your brain into saying, well done for the task, not about for the goal. It's about seeing the challenge, overcoming it, putting in the effort, and then becoming the best person that you can be through that process. Because if it's just about the goal, what happens when you get there? If it's just about region, how are you going to feel when you get to region? Oh, I've done it. How are you going to feel when you get to nation if it's just about nation? If you're not breaking it down any further? So often you'll speak to someone who has just achieved a massive goal and they've been going for it for so long and they get there and they're like, yeah, this feels good. This feels good. And actually behind the eyes, you can see that they're like, wait a minute, what, what now? Because they're so attached to that goal. So yes, think bigger, but also think about what kind of person do you want to be? Do you want to be, do you want to be the kind of person that does what they say they're going to do? Do you want to be the kind of person that's disciplined enough to show up when they don't feel like showing up? Do you want to be the kind of person that has the habits in place to allow them to be consistent when they don't feel like doing it? We have to learn to attach joy to the effort, not the goal because that's the only thing that's going to get to the goal in the first place. Whenever someone is in a funk, feeling a little bit funky in their business, they're just not really sure what's going on. They're just not feeling that, that good. They're just kind of a little bit stuck, as a lot of people say. We, all, we always say activity cures everything. And it's one of those oversaid things. Activity cures everything. Just get into activity. The one thing that will solve this is activity. And it's so true. It's the last thing you feel like doing, though, when you're in a funk, it's doing the an activity you don't feel like doing it when you're feeling like that but it's the one thing that will get you out of the funk it's like when you've not exercised for a while the one thing that's going to get you out of that mood is moving your body the one thing that's going to get you out of that mood with our bone that you're in is moving your bone business in some way shape or form move the stats you're not responsible for moving the stats but you are responsible for the daily things the effort so attach that dopamine maybe to eating a healthy meal not just completing the 30 days Attach it to inviting one person on Wednesday night to Glasgow Discover Arbon. Attach it to texting your upline and asking if we'll go live with you on Instagram tomorrow. Have I got any text yet? Just wondering, just wondering if I've got any text yet. Attach it to sending out a sample pack tomorrow, tonight. Attach it to doing your green shots every single day. It doesn't have to be that big a deal. When you're thinking about achieving anything, Think about the three steps. Number one is your goal. Where do you want to be? By when? So RVP by Christmas or whatever it is. Area manager by Christmas. District manager by the end of this month. That's your goal. Number two is what does that process look like? The good news is we already have a daily method of operation in place. Your upline should have it. They'll, they can post it on your um, team pages after this. It consists of things like doing two reach outs a day, two follow-ups a day, adding two new names to your list per day, 
doing one online event a week. That's what the process is. We know that if you do that every single day, you'll get to where you want to be. But so often we try and complicate it and we try and put too many bells and whistles on it and we try and look over there and over there and under there. What else is everyone else doing? And you're spending so much time looking all over the place. Maybe, maybe behind me is a good place to look. Just focus on what's in front of you and do one thing a day and start rewarding yourself in some way. But I want you to decide how your reward system is going to work. What is your carrot going to be? What is your square of chocolate going to be? What is your Reese's Pieces? Stephanie Connell, I bet yours as well actually be Reese's Pieces because she's obsessed with Reese's Pieces. <laughs> um, watch all the promotions from all the Reese's Pieces that are going, that are flying out the door tomorrow of the shops. Um, figure out what, what's your Reese's Pieces. And once you've figured out what they are, tell your upline because it's so handy if we know that you know a wee Reese's Pieces will help or a wee word of encouragement is what makes you tick or maybe maybe it's literally the tick like oh uh, I know Leslie Collins is quite like that she'll just lost that tick of the box it feels so so good when you've done the tick and that dopamine reward system triggers signals in your brain which then make you want to go and do more so we have this system in our brain that we're not utilizing effectively. So just figure out what that looks like and attach it to your daily method of operation. Attach it to that daily method of operation sheet. Now, I know there's quite a few nations that, that listen to this call. That's why I'm not sharing the actual sheet in case um, different nations have different ones. But um, if you want to know which one I use, then let me know. My team are wondering I can put it on the team page afterwards and we just need to print that out and focus on doing that every single day so we have 17 days until UKNC so how many times do you think you could do an online event between now and 17 days I'm just going to have a look at the chat here to see what's going on in the chat how many times Oh, Emma Sangster's all about the tick too. See, see the, the successful ones love a tick. Maybe it doesn't have to be these pieces. Maybe it can just be a tick. Um, how many online events could you set up? How many times could you go live on your Instagram? How many times could you show up on your social media in these next 17 days? Quite a few. It's the 22nd of August. So but between now and the start of UKNC, we've also got a brand new month. So let's start thinking about what we can launch on the 1st of September. So do you have a Greens Gut Glow Challenge launching on the 1st of September? If you don't or your upline doesn't, then let's start it tonight. That's it. It doesn't take much to organise. Just start it. Tell people about it tomorrow. Tell people about how much you're loving the Greens drink. Tell people about how glowy it makes your skin, how much energy you have when you drink it how the greens drink just really it must distract me with something exciting that's happening tomorrow um, <laughs> um how the greens drink just transformed your health with so many fruits and vegetables all that kind of stuff tell them about all of that and have the challenge launching on the first of september but there is something exciting happening tomorrow that's all about the greens glow now, you want to start talking about this challenge that's that's happening on the start on the 1st of September if you want, but start talking about it tonight and tomorrow because something exciting is happening around about the greens tomorrow. Just keep an eye on your social media and your emails for that um, because you'll see you'll see some exciting things. It will be really good. It'll be really good for your businesses. And the thing that I'm loving as well about our businesses at the moment is we're just simplifying and I haven't done this yet, but it's on my list to do. I was talking to the, the other girls about this. Is just having a one sheet document coming to you tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll I'll, I'll do it tonight or tomorrow, and have it to you by the end of tomorrow. It's going to be a one sheet document that's got all of the events on it from now until the end of the year. Because I know that we've been doing some discover our bones that have been a bit random. There's all of a sudden there's one on a Wednesday night in Glasgow. All of a sudden there's a there's a zoom that you weren't sure about it's a bit confusing it has been a bit confusing so we've just consolidated all that and we'll give it to you on a one sheet blank white bit of paper with black writing I'll have that to you tomorrow just to simplify it so that if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed and if you're thinking what do I do now what am I going to invite someone to now there's always going to be an event there's always going to be an online event every week there's always 
going to be so not every week every week there will be something to invite them to whether that's an online event or an in-person event and um, there's always going to be something the discover our one is happening on wednesday night i'm speaking at that along with amy connell and sahar shaheed we've already had quite a few rsvps to that these discover our ones have been going for quite a while um, and they're starting to gain momentum so show up to that if, even if you don't have guests honestly you feel so good I went to the last glow event just when was that last week and Amy Connell spoke at it and Steph Connell spoke about it at it and Sahar spoke at it and it was just so so valuable because I had never actually seen a glow event in person and they literally just spoke about the greens got glow and daring results that was it it was done in about half an hour it was over it was so simple everyone was buzzed about it their product samples there it was so easy so simple simple to duplicate so get along to these things and listen to them and hear hear what everyone's saying um because it, it really does work this simplification that we're that we're processing at the moment is just so so valuable and again, it just means that every day in your daily business, you can say, okay, what can I invite someone to today? Okay, what can I tell someone is happening today? Am I going to show up and tell people about my greens on social media today? And if I do, do I get a racist pieces or do I just get the kick from doing the greens? You get to decide. But I just want you to go away from this call tonight knowing that you don't have to wait till you can see. You can break your business down, decide that you can have an incredible end of August and an incredible start of September so that you can be sitting in those stands thinking, yes, we're already we're already doing that. We're talking about glow events, already done it. We're talking about those in-person events, already attended one last week. Oh, they're talking about a daily system. We're already absolutely smashing that. And these are things, the daily system has been running for years, but I do feel like we've got away from it a little bit. I feel like we've just been overcomplicating things and looking all over the place for solutions and things that, you know, aren't even made up yet. When we have the answer sitting right in front of us, we're just not doing it. Sometimes that can, sometimes that can hit hard, but that's, that's really the crux of it. And I, all of what I've said is coming from lessons that I've learned recently. So well done to you guys who have another event next month. Well done, Jenny and Lisa, who have another event next month. That's so, so good. Honestly, these blue events are popping up all over the country. Keep an eye on the Discover Arbonne page as well, because there are Discover Arbonnes and smaller glow events happening all over the country. And the good thing is, I know um, Michelle was just at the NDP leadership meeting in Sydney and she was talking about the focus of daring results and the green gut glow in Australia as well and how that's basically you know kind of rolling out throughout the world it was launched at Empower Live and it's rolling out throughout the world to simplify everything that we do so we don't have any excuses anymore because it's simple it's easy it's fun in the world in the words of Scott Campbell and we get to just do a little bit every day and become the person that you want to become every single day and when you're feeling a little bit down and you feel like you're in a bit of a funk and you feel like you don't want to you don't want to do your activity and you feel like what's the point because you're going so far away anyway just have a think about what kind of person do you want to be what kind of habits do you want to attach to yourself when people think of Sehar what kind of habits do you think Sehar has and Sehar is impeccable so like the kindest person I know, she spoke so well at that event, she shows up at everything. What kind of habits do you think Wendy has? I'm just talking about people whose faces I can see well, Wendy's like the habit queen, so we'll move on because her habits are just amazing. Audrey, what kind of habits do you think she has? She's always got a camera on, she's always there, so showing up, she's always smiling. What do, what do you want people to think when they think, you, think of you and they see your face? Think about that next time you have a decision to make of the, the easy way. Or the just doing what you said you were going to do path. Because it's not just about the next goal, it's about the person that you're going to become. It's about the person that you're the example that you're being for people around you, whether that's your team, whether it's your kids, whether it's your relationships. It's about the lives that you haven't even impacted yet, or you will not impact if you don't even talk about it. Or people who would just their lives would be transformed by doing the 30 days healthy living. They don't even know such a thing as a green drink that can really change your mood and really change your state can actually doesn't actually exist. They've never even heard of a green drink. Are you going to tell them? Or are, are they just going to continue as as life was? 
when you think of all the stories, all of the stuff that you hear of, of how people's lives have changed through this business, it started because someone had the guts to say, will you do this with me? Or this challenge is starting on the 1st of September, do you want to do it? Your next national vice president could be sponsored through that Green's Got Glow Challenge because they see how incredible the products are. They see the community. They see everyone tagging each other on Instagram. And they're like, what is this? This is fun. It's so much more than just that decision to take the slightly more difficult step at, at that time or just take the easy way because the easy way you can guarantee you'll be in the same place or further back than you currently are in five years. Whereas just a little bit, just a little bit, follow the Reese's pieces all the way, you're going to feel so much better for doing it. So guys, thank you so much for being on the call tonight. I'm loving all of the, um, the chat about Say Her Superwoman. I mean, that should be your new nickname, to be honest, Say Her, I love that. Guys, thank you so much for being on and I will see loads of you in your, in your trips on Wednesday night at the Glasgow Discovered Arbonne. For those of you who are far away and obviously you can't make it to the Discovered Arbonne, that's okay, we'll see you at the next online event. And I promise I will have that one pager done by tomorrow night. Loads of love. Bye.